and the French have a cunning solution to the Dover backlog, Leo. Yes, there's been a, a huge backlog at Dover uh, over, over the weekend. Uh, there have been tailbacks of up to six hours. Uh, I think, uh, Longer the, than that, I think. I think the, the traffic numbers travelling across the channel are back to pre-pandemic levels. Uh, wow. They're back down to, to just an hour uh, at the moment. Uh, but Francoise de Coster, who's, uh, who's the vice president of the, the region that um, Calais is in, uh, says that the UK should ask to be allowed back into the Schengen zone. So, you know, we've had Brexit, we've left the European Union, but the Schengen zone is a, is a wider uh, economic area that includes some, some non Well, this countries. is a, 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 a point of order. I don't think welcome back into Schengen. We've never been in Schengen, have we? I don't think we were ever in Schengen before. Schengen is the one where there's no borders at all. We always had a border. We were within the EU and mm. You could sometimes just wander through, but technically speaking, Schengen is like when you drive back and forth between France. But if you're in the EU, if you're in the EU, then you're technically Schengen is in different. Schengen. I mean, uh, Switzerland, I think. I think I could be if, we, if the, the switchboard lights up. But I think Switzerland are because I know there are people who live in France because it's cheaper to live there and drive into Geneva every day. Right. Um, because and, and there are literally no. You don't. You're not even aware that you've 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 switched between. And if you're if you're in that zone, then it is effectively it's not to do yeah, with, with, the, with but, goods and services. It's to do with with uh, it's freedom of movement, yeah, freedom which is, movement. I guess, for some people, voting for yeah. Brexit was a big or yeah, a yeah. part of. But we shouldn't need that. We essentially we should be like, operating in the same basis that we were before. I think this guy's yeah, trying to pull a bit of a changed, fast one, isn't he? Well, this is the thing. Yeah. Things we are operating in the way uh, things were before, which means passport checks, yeah. which is mm. a pain, and also yeah. you know a, a drag on the economy and a, a, just a, a sort of pointless bureaucracy mm. and a drag on all our lives. You know, if we're going on holiday, if we're doing yeah. anything, and also it gives uh, gives EU countries a lever uh, to punish us. So well, this know, does seem to be what's happening. I, I, you're you, such know, a classic you never Romano. know the details. <laughs> but is it, is it not the case? that there are lots of, like, uh, you know, the little uh, sentry boxes that are empty that, are, that should have... Well, they had half of them. them, but it still doesn't make any difference when, it, when each process... Before, they were just waving people through, and actually there yeah. was a report this morning on GB News that got shared wildly because they had this expert on who basically said, look, it's, got, it's all to do with Brexit. People, the government saying it's got nothing to do with that and there's less booths and whatever yeah. is, is, a, is a lie. It's essentially now that everything has to be checked, everything has to be stamped, whereas before they go through. What was interesting was that that got massively shared, yeah. certainly amongst sort of Remainer people, and they go, oh, look at GB News. Oh, God, I can't believe they're the ones who put it. Yeah. I go, well, actually, can you just give the channel some credit? <laughs> you know, this is the guy, I know the guy, you know, his name yeah. escapes me for the moment, but he's like a, a long-standing... Transport. Tra Expert, well, travel actually. expert, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. He wrote a book when, in the 1980s when I was a hitchhiker. He wrote uh, one of the two uh, kind of main books about hitchhiking. Yeah. It was virtually autistic, uh, kind of detailed account of every road sign and junction and lay-by to stand by across the whole of Europe to get rides. So he's been, you know, he he's been out there doing the, uh, the hard miles for some time. Mm. I do have to trust him to some extent. But it's almost impossible not to view these kind of issues through the lens of... Who is the bad guy? Who is the good guy? You know, have we have we triggered this inevitability, or is it is it France punishing us? There, yeah. there is. It, it well, does feel like they'd have it within their gift. I mean, as a, as, a, easier. as a sort of you know right wing pragmatist, I just think it's pointless to have uh, bureaucracy and delays when there needn't be bureaucracy yeah. and delays. You know, we've everything's. Uh, uh, El electrified now, what would you call yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> electrified. <laughs> we've got this, uh, we've got this magic. They have all that electricity. <laughs> Cloudified. <laughs>